we're going to do here is adjust the injector height. This is going to be cylinder 5. And in order to adjust the injector height, we first need to check with the gauge. And what this does is it measures the height to make sure that the timing is right. And if it isn't right, then that's when we make our adjustments. What we do is the height gauge is installed on a locating hole, which is in the injector body. And once you install onto the hole, it should be moved on top of the injector. The injector on top has a machine face and it should be smooth with a slight drag as you turn the timing tool over it. If there is no drag and it's too loose or if you cannot slide over it, then that tells you you must make adjustments What does that say? Can you get a flashlight? See the wrench? Can you So this one is loose, right? We got to overlap it on the six. Yeah, the. You can't adjust it yet. No? It's got to be on overlap on six and we're adjust five. Fire on five. So before we adjust the injector on number five, we got to bar the engine over on number six and make sure that this is on the overlap phase. Right now the in it's injecting in cylinder six. Now it's going down on the power stroke. Well, that's happening, cylinder five. Exhaust valve is closing. Right there. Right there. <coughs> now cylinder six is in the overlap phase, and we can adjust cylinder five's injector height. We just got the magnetic pickup tool. You see the hole? And while you're finding the height with the timing tool, make sure you apply downward pressure as you're turning it. Once you find that slight drag, you know you're at the right height and the right timing. And that's it.